Uh, the experience at the Big Brother house was very refreshing for me. It was um, a different path that I normally wouldn't go through and uh, it was a risk that I enjoyed taking. So it was mad fun. For me, it was an experience I will not do again, but I do not regret doing. And um, it was the path where I learned a lot. I rediscovered certain things, certain strengths. And um, I'm very excited for the stage. I thank Big Brother and Multichoice or whoever the team put, uh, put this stuff together. I really applaud them and man, I learned so much. So thank you and it was a wonderful experience for me. It was me just being me. It's me being me. Everything you saw in the Big Brother house is Jackie. 100% undiluted Jackie. That is real. Everything, my smarts, that was me. I know a bit about everything, you know. I don't like to rub it in people's faces, but it always comes across like I'm rubbing it in their face. But I just feel passing my knowledge across to other people it will do them, do me even more, more good than harm, do more good to the society than harm in itself. So there's no strategy, it's just who Jackie is. It wasn't a strategy for me. I felt, I felt what I felt when I met her. It totally wasn't a strategy. It, and um, I came out to see a lot of um, pictures, videos, and it was really crazy because I, I, I would come out to beat my chest to say, oh, man, I love the girls, Kata. But then again, pictures, videos, and all of those just made it look like I wasn't really expressive. But like I'll say, two people speaking, who would listen? So if one is expressive, the other person would not be as expressive as the other. And that's how characters, characters complement and balance each other out. So that was... Not a strategy, but real emotions. Oh no, everyone is overthinking it, yes. There's absolutely nothing between myself and Mike. Mike is a big brother to me, and I know he sees me as a sister as well. So, I don't even, oh, I don't even know where it comes from, but it makes it so difficult for a lady to be friends with a guy, you know, and be free with a guy that is her friend. I don't think we should encourage such uh, restrictions, you know, especially when two parties are involved that understand the boundaries, that have serious relationships in their life. Mike is married, he loves his wife. I know he loves his wife and I always cheer him on for loving his wife and for being the kind of man that he is in the house. I, for one, love my man as well. And he's always, you know, cheering me on for the way I love and respect my man. So. Bringing in this mix is, is, I don't think it's healthy even for the society to encourage a man and a woman not to be really close friends and not attach romance into the entire picture. But it's what everyone feels, but to clear the air, nothing happened between myself and Mike, no emotions, nothing. We're just good pals, like brother and sister. That was me just getting free from what I would call mental. <laughs> um, I was in, in, I felt stifled mentally. It was like um, I was in a prison, not a prison per se, but in, I've never been in that kind of space where I had a lot of people and I couldn't just isolate myself whenever I needed to. So at that point or before then I was already getting tired of the characters and the environment of um, being in one place uh, with so many people and not having to seclude myself when I want to. So um, it took Kafi a lot of time to keep me in the game because I, sh I sure would have left a long time like I would have opted to leave a long time ago because it meant it, it was dealing with my um, this thing, my mental st stability and psych and so it was Kafi that did the work and man that's I it was a relief to at least know I was going to breathe fresh air. Friday Arena Games I always came through like that was what I always looked forward to the Friday Arena Games and 
If you check the stats, I'm like the leading lady in the house when it comes to Friday. Everyone looks up to me. Even Venita came up to tell me that I motivate her every Friday at arena games. Even Kathy, Kathy came to meet me and she was like, how do you do it? How do you get yourself pumped up for the Friday arena game and do so well and deliver on your time? And I started giving Kathy pep talk to help her, you know, have more confidence in herself before going into the Friday uh, arena game. So for me, I don't know where that idea is coming from because in the house, everyone looks forward to Jackie at the Friday arena games. So I don't know where that idea is coming from. Like Abigidoni. <laughs> Thank you. Kadoni, Gaddafi, we should look forward to that. You should expect that. There's, there's, there's obviously a future. Yeah, Jackie, Jackie, your tech girl. You know, I have my AI project that I've been working on even before going into the house, and that was what I was preaching in the house. Um, our MVP is almost done. We're here to reduce operational cost and increase ROI for all SMEs and MSMEs. That's our focus and our target using artificial intelligence. It's called Conversa. So watch out for Conversa. We are coming, and uh, the plan is to provide 1,000 entrepreneurs with Conversa for free and we need the support of everyone if you uh, believe in the, the dream and you want to support us please feel free contact me anywhere via uh, Instagram DMs I'm going to be available to receive whatever um, support that you have for me financially as well yeah uh, the plan, I'm going to take my clothing line to the next level by just grace uh, with the platform I have now. And so it's going to be fashion for me. I'll try and get uh, on as much as possible with a lot of um, international fashion shows. Take from Nigeria to South Africa and across the world as God grants to grace. So, um, and there again, I'll try my hands on new terrains like um, voiceovers and all of those kind of things. Acting might not be my forte, but I don't mind, I'll still try it. I'm not, I'm not afraid of challenges, so, so that's me. Uh, for me, it was seeing the love because I gravitate towards uh, positive energy so well. So seeing my Instagram followers, I was like, whoa, and then different handles that were created, the Jackie Shans, you know, the team Jackie, you know, Jackie for AI, Jackie for tech, you know, Jackie the tech girl, that made me so happy. But on um, the not so positive side, it was um, the misconception about my relationship between Mike, um, the wrong idea of people about the issue that happened between myself, Tacha, Kafi, and Gidoni, and the fact that everyone believed that I said, call Tacha a witch, which was never mentioned. I did not even call her name even in the conversation. It was just, that was just like, like okay, are we, are we, am I on the same show you guys are watching? Because it's a completely different ball game down here, and you guys are seeing something completely different. But, um, for me, that was the real shocker for me, but you know, not everybody that will love you, regardless of how good you are. Um, what shocked me the most, um, the love I got and the kind of people that gave the love, especially from Crush River State, I was really surprised at that. I, I liked that on a good note, so it was basically positivity until I started getting um, the messages about um, Certain people not being happy at the fact that I didn't show or express as much love as Kathy did to me. And I didn't know um, that was a thing. So being not expressive was a problem to people. But then again, like the analogy I, I've given before, if two people are speaking, who would listen? And who would not speak? So if Kathy is very expressive, I probably won't be, which is not that not because Kathy is expressive, so I am not. But in my nature, I'm very calm, is a very cool, um, level-headed kind of person. So I probably was thinking, or I knew for a fact that I was expressing as much as I did, or as, as much as I had in my heart. And so here again, I'm here to 
to still say how much I love her. It was a simple case of you seeing what you're saying and what was happening under the duvet. Uh, movements under the duvet does not directly translate to sex. And furthermore, I, would, um, I find it rather disrespectful to talk about what happened between Kathy and I alone. I'd love the lady to be right beside me and we we'll talk about it together. So if, if um, two of us had anything or not, we should say it together. That's, that's my take. Um, for me, I would say know exactly what you're going there for, know exactly what um, you want the platform to do for you because the real game is actually not in the house, it's when you leave the house. It's more of like an incubation period for you. You know, you're like an egg, you're incubating to become either a chick, a chicken, an eagle, a vulture. Anyone that you choose to become is what you will become, you know? And for me, I feel I have, you know, no matter the time you leave the Big Brother house, you are ripe enough to become who you say you want to be. Just know how you want to use the platform. That's what I'll say. For me, I'd still, I'll say just get ready. Just be prepared. And don't underestimate or underrate the platform. Do not for a second think it is not something that is something that you can easily do. No, it is bigger than you think. And like Kathy, um, Jackie said, I'm sorry to And like Jackie said, um, is the game isn't in the house, but outside the house. So if you think you're going to go in there and be a certain type of way, when you come out, you'll be shocked at what you put out there already. And like they said, the sins of our fathers live after them. So just the game is after the house. That's the message. Hello everyone, it's your favorite tech girl, Jackie, and you're watching Wazobia Max TV. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Gedoni and you are watching Wazobia Max. Stay tuned. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.